With the branch located in Hong Kong, Chelsea's International Gallery, Sundaram Tagore has always had their finger on the pulse of the Chinese contemporary art scene. From September 10th to October 10th this year, the gallery mounted its exhibition, The Bright Eye of the Universe, bringing the works of six emerging and established artists from China to New York. We specialize in the issue of intercultural dialogue. That's what we, we bring cultures from East and West, and we create a dialogue and use art as a vehicle to bring people together. Created in a variety of mediums spanning from paintings, ink on paper, to sculpture installations, the works on display not only draw inspirations from China's history, culture, and traditional art, but also make reference to the Western art, creating different culture senses that collide with each other. Essentially, that's the show's about uh, historicism, archaism, looking at the past and a combination of that and landscape. We have one Gongbi painter, Hong Chun Hui, uh, but his is perhaps the only art which is obviously archaic and, and, and traditional. But other artists like Zheng Lu, the sculpture, works with characters, works with small Hangzhe and water as a theme, so the Dao De Jin is, is uh, evoked. It's, it's to subtle references um, to the origins of Chinese culture, which permeates the entire show. I'm bringing three pieces of my Gongbi series, the Identification Manual of Butterflies, to this exposition. I chose the Tai Hu Rock and Butterflies, which are two fundamental themes in Chinese painting, as the main subjects to work on. The Tai Hu Rocks are painted with a Gongbi skill, but for the butterfly part, I use specimens directly. Gongbi techniques versus using ready-made objects is a confluence of the East and West. In addition, the text next to the paintings are not literary works or poems, but a definition of the butterfly that I got from an encyclopedia. Unlike the way Chinese Asian people learn the world through imagination and folktales, the precise scientific study of the butterfly embodies how Westerners understand the world. So replacing the poems and literary works with excerpts from encyclopedia is also a representation of the collision of East and West. The works on display here are all parts of my sculptural series of water and dripping. My inspiration comes from Chinese poet Bai Zhuyi's work. The technical execution of these works are no different than the traditional sculpture crafting. But if you take a closer look at the works, you will find out thousands of Chinese characters are inscribed onto the surface of the metal. This body of works are placed on different heights. The way they are being placed represents how the water is occupying the space, subtle yet powerful. I'm interested in the relation between abstract and figurative. The visual effect of painting can be different as the viewing distance changes. The reason why I chose the book as a subject to work on is because all these books are mine. They represent my daily life. They are rectangular, with slight -like color differences, being placed next to each other. It's kind of like our life. When we see our lives in general, we feel they are similar. But if you take one step further and deeper, you would tell everyone's lives, every moment in life are different. For more information from Sanovation English Channel, you can find us online at en.sanovation.net. Reporting for Sanovation Journal, I'm Jane Stop.